Hey friends. It's almost time for Easter, and you know what that means. Holidays equal lots of goodies for the kids that they probably don't need. So, I went to a few stores and I got stuff for the kiddos' Easter baskets. That's in quotations because I'm not actually getting baskets this year. I'm going to just use like paper bags that can be recycled or whatever, maybe even used for other gifts later on down the line by their fat. That would be recycling too, wouldn't it? Point is, is that all these kids are gonna get baskets from their parents, their grandparents, whoever else. It's like no kid needs that many baskets. They just accumulate, they're gonna get thrown out. It's pointless. So for my own son, I'm gonna recycle a basket that he already has here because he has a pile of them. And for my nephews and my friend's kids, they're just gonna get bags. Now for reference, all the kids that I'm buying for are in the pre-K to kindergarten range. So let me show you what's going inside these bags. So first off, from Target, we have <laughs> these cute little towels, Easter Bunny towels, and you guys can see that. There's one design, and here's the other. So it's four kiddos total that I bought for. So these were a dollar each from the Target dollar spot, and they're just so cute. So I thought this would be cute to like throw in there. I don't know, they're magic, they expand, nah. By the way, if you wanna see the stuff that I put together for Valentine's Day, I'm gonna put a link right here to the Valentine's Day playlist, and there's a video in there that shows you guys how I put together the kids' gifts for that occasion, and another video that shows me baking for that occasion. In a few days on this channel, you're going to see a video of me baking for Easter, it's just kind of a thing I do, bake for holidays. And there's obviously going to be an Easter playlist as well, which you're gonna see popping up in the cards any moment now. So something else I got, this one's just for my son. It's these little mini racer airplanes, so you pull them back and they race each other. I get my son a few little extra tchotchkes and toys and things. A, because he's my son, but B, because all the other kids can get like edible treats, chocolates and cakes and things like that, baked goods. And my son cannot eat most of those things and will not eat the things that he can. So I just load him up with extra little fun things instead. Okay, these are also from Target. I got a package of egg-shaped egg -shaped chalk that I'm gonna be distributing amongst everybody's little baskets or whatever. I'm just gonna call them the baskets for ease, but obviously they're not baskets. Also got these little light up Bunny things! I thought these were cool and again, fun little sensory thing. So everybody's getting light up bunnies. Oh, except for the twins, I always try to get either things that are exactly the same or I make it a point. It depends on the thing really, whether I know that they're going to argue about it or not. But um, I try to get things that are exactly the same and if not, then I try to get equal things that are slightly different so that way there's no question that this one's definitely yours this one's definitely your brother's chill <laughs> everybody's getting bunnies except one of the twins will be getting a chick and speaking of bunnies look how cute so everybody's gonna be getting a headband <laughs> these are adorable these are also a dollar each yes they were as were these guys so everything so far has been a dollar each including the six egg chalks so all six of them together were one dollar. We've got more bunny ears for the other kiddos. Oh, okay, and there is one last thing here. I got everybody these cute little wooden ornaments that come with paints and paint brushes. These were also a dollar each. So I've got a bunny, a frog, a chick, actually two chicks. So I don't know if each of the twins will get a chick or if I might, I don't know because they're both chicks, but they're different. This is kind of the ideal scenario for twin gifts. So I think that that might be how that works. But yeah, that is everything 
that I got from Target. Of course, I got a ginormous bag of Easter candy. What makes this Easter candy? Oh, okay, well it's got the Whoppers Robin Eggs and my absolute favorite candy probably ever, the Cadbury Mini Eggs, particularly the blue. Yes, they all do taste different to me, fight me. I haven't eaten these in like two years because I've been dairy free and I'm not gonna eat them again this year and that just like wounds my insides because they really are my absolute favorite candy ever, but alas, dairy and so I won't. So these are going to be distributed amongst the twins and my friend's kiddo. My son doesn't eat any of this stuff. So giant bag, chances are my husband's gonna eat most of it to be completely honest. So there's that. What else do we have here? This is from Joann's Fabrics, actually. And this was the first thing I bought. And I just got them for the twins and my son. Yeah, so it's little paddles, like, yeah, you know, with the little ball and everything. And you can color them in with markers. So I have an Easter dino that's definitely for my kid. Anybody that's been watching any of my videos for any amount of time knows that I am obsessed with dinosaurs. So obviously the dinosaur is staying in my house. And then we've got a cute bunny and a cute chick. So the twins, each one will get one of these. And the thing about me shopping for holidays for the kids is that I start really early, pretty much as soon as the things hit the stores. And I just start accumulating and accumulating and accumulating. And I forget what I've bought. So I keep accumulating. And then when it finally comes time to sit down and organize everything, I'm just kind of shocked at how much stuff I got. It's a lot of stuff. I actually had forgotten that I bought these until I started putting everything together for this video. So yeah. Speaking of other random stores that I rarely shop at, I went to Ikea. I don't even remember when. You guys will know. I put a, a put the link to the week in the life here where I went to Ikea to buy my desk. And when I was there, I noticed that they had these. These are milk chocolate bunnies, but in true Ikea form, you assemble your own. Isn't that hilarious? You build your own bunny because it's Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> I got one for each of the twins and this is gonna go in their baskets, whatever, as well. It's a lot of stuff. And again, I forgot I bought those because I bought them so long ago and I only just now discovered them when I was putting everything together to make this video, so. The twins, the twins are gonna, they're making out like bandits. They always do. Last thing is stuff I got from the Dollar Tree. So, as always, my son is getting a slinky. He loves slinkies and I love giving them to him because they make him happy, so slinky it is. And also one of these giant bubble wands. He um, does not yet know how to blow bubbles. So we're working on that, but in the meantime, we did just recently teach him that with these big wands, you can just kind of wave them around and the bubbles emerge. So he's really excited about these lately, so I wanted to make sure I got him one. And you just can't lose with bubbles, so everybody's getting a little bubble carrot. I also got... I think I'm missing a bag because I only got one of these, unless I intended to only get one for my son. But I don't know why I would do that. This seems like something I would have bought everyone. So I might be missing a bag. I'm gonna have to look for that before Easter. Funny thing. And yeah, I'm definitely missing a bag because I've only got three of these and I would have bought four. But I got these little cute bunny things that you can put stickers on, which obviously comes with stickers and googly eyes and things. So you could decorate your own bunny. I always like to include some sort of like artsy thing. Like for the Valentine's thing, I did a... Uh, a painting kit. Well, actually, there's a lot of painting kits in here as well. I like to include artsy things. I don't want to just throw toys in here that you're just going to be able to look at and go, oh, that was nice and forget about. Like, I want you to be able to interact with your toys. So, speaking of interacting, and again, speaking of the twins, poop slime. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They're five year old boys. Poop is hilarious, I guess and my son really hates slime, otherwise I might have gotten one for him as well. But yeah, poop slime. I don't know what makes it poop except that it's brown, but meh. So that seems to be everything. I am missing another bag, I think, because like I said, I only have X amount of certain things and I know that I bought enough for all of the kids. 
So I'm gonna have to go on a hunt for that other bag. But yeah, that's everything that's going in our kiddos Easter baskets this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you created a video about what you're getting your kids for Easter, please leave a link in the comments so I can check it out. Please subscribe and click the notification bell because if you haven't noticed, I'm putting up a video every single day this month. And even when April's over, I still upload at least three times a week. So you're not gonna wanna miss a minute. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.